Good afternoon, boys and girls. Uh, this is Mr. Vade. This is probably one of your first uh, screencast lessons. Um, all this is is me recording what's on my computer screen in the effort to provide you with either some instruction, review, um, or just uh, some information uh, or an experience related to what we're studying in class. Uh, the title of uh, today's um, lesson uh, is Division, Conceptual Understanding. Uh, with that, there's also a conceptual understanding of multiplication, decimals, and fractions that I want you to have. Um, the learning target states, observe results from tests or experiments in order to make conceptual discoveries about division, multiplication, fractions, and decimals. You're going to watch this lesson and you're just going to follow my lead. I'm going to prompt you with some questions to think about. And um, according to my post um, on the Google Classroom, you have to respond to a certain question. Now, watching this video is going to allow you to respond to that question more effectively. You may have to watch the video again um, in order to do that. But there are things that I'm going to say and show in this video that allow you to answer that question on the Google Classroom, the Math Google Classroom uh, post. Um, what you see highlighted in black here is just stuff that's going to be revealed to you for tomorrow's class. Um, I want you to try to notice how quotients or answers to different types of division problems change depending on what kind of numbers are being divided. So we're going to focus on the quotient, which is also known as the answer to a division problem. And um, what I want you to notice is how those quotients are different when what's being divided is different. Let's take a quick review uh, um, with division. This is a division problem that I created. Uh, it's important for us to use proper vocabulary. Um, the number that's being divided is called the dividend. This is what's being split. Um, the number that uh, it's dividing by is called divisor. In the near future, I'm going to ask you to create situations in which division takes place. If I had 20 markers in class, I have to split those 20 markers by my divisor amongst eight students. Um, this here, it, we, yes, it is an answer, um, but this is the quotient. This is how many times, uh, or sorry, uh, this is the quotient, uh, 2. Um, so if you're splitting 20, if your dividend is 20 and you're splitting it amongst 8, your divisor, uh, that split turns into 2. Uh, 20 pencils divided by 8 students. Every student then receives 2 pencils at least. That's called the quotient. There are four pencils left over because if you were to evenly split the dividend amongst the divisor, each student would get two pencils, and there would be four pencils left over. Or what you could do then is understand that you could put your, and we're, gonna, we're going to study this, your remainder four would go over your divisor eight, and you would have something like two and four eighths pencils. Each student would really get two and a half pencils. These are just terms I want you to start using in class. Dividend, divisor, quotient, and remainder. Um, okay. Now finally, to end this uh, lesson, I'd like you to do what we've done in the, in the last couple days of class, which is make discoveries on your own, just using evidence that's provided to you. Take a look at this experiment. It's called Compare and Look for a Pattern. What I did in the blue font is I took a whole number, like 36, and I divided it by another whole number, like 3. And I got these types of quotients. 36 divided by 3 is 12, 200 divided by 5 is 40, and 8 as my dividend. Um, splitting that amongst 2 gives me 4 as my quotient. And then what I did was I compared these types of quotients that I get from whole number divided by a whole number division with um, division in which I take a whole number again, but this time I divide it by a decimal that's less than 1. And in this case, I took 36 and I divided it by 3 tenths. And I 
my quotient was 120. In this case, I split 20 pencils over or by half a student, and my quotient was 40. In this case, I did 8 divided by 2 tenths, and I got 40. So I want you to consider looking at this. You may have to look at this again, and you have to answer the question on the post, what do you discover about either fractions, multiplication, uh, division, or decimals, and I want you to tell me what, you, what you're seeing. Let's go to the next experiment. This one is called Look for Patterns. In this case, I took a decimal uh, that was less than 1, and I divided it by another decimal that was less than 1. So I took 8 tenths, which is just slightly less than 1 whole, and I divided it by 2 tenths, and I received the quotient of 4. Uh, in this case, I took 6 tenths, which is just slightly above half, and I split it amongst 3 tenths. My quotient was 2. And then I took 60 hundredths, and I divided that by half, and I got 1 and 2 tenths. Again, you have to ask yourself the question, what do you notice? What are you discovering about fractions, about division, about multiplication, about um, decimals? Um, so let's go to the last experiment here. Experiment number three, compare and look for a pattern. In this case, I took a whole number in the red font and I divided it by a decimal that's less than one, like I did before. 36 divided by 3 tenths is 120. 20 divided by half is a quotient of 40. 8 divided by 2 tenths gives you the quotient of 40 as well. As you're watching this and listening to me, I think some of you are starting to realize something or make discoveries about division, multiplication, fractions, and decimals. Look what happen, happens uh, when I take a decimal, like uh, 75 hundredths, and I divide it by a fraction. In this case, I did 75 hundredths divided by 1 fourth, and I received 3. Then I did 20 hundredths, and I divided it by 1 third, and I got 60 hundredths. And I started with 80 hundredths, and then I split that by 5 sixths, and I got 96 hundredths. So, to wrap up, these are three experiments that I've done, and from them, I urge you to try to look for patterns, try to draw conclusions from uh, what you see as evidence on the screen. You can conduct your own experiments. These are only three experiments that I've done. There's many other things that you can test out, and the goal for you is to ultimately have a conceptual understanding of division, multiplication, fractions, and decimals, but you will understand it through your discovery of the evidence, or your, through your examining of the evidence. I'm going to provide uh, some instruction on just general multiplication and division um, in the near future and in class, um, so please answer that question on the Google Math Classroom post about the discoveries that you've made about fractions, division, decimals or multiplication. Um, please answer that question and if there's any other things that I ask please answer those as well. Remember there is no survey you have to actually do tonight. Okay thanks and have a great rest of the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.